Hello everybody, today we're going to be going over a trigonometry problem at the IB Math Studies level. So the problem gives us that Haraya owns two triangular plots of land shown here. We have ABC and ACD, right? And they give us a ton of info, right? The length of AB is 30, BC is 50, CA is 70 meters. The size of the angle DAC is 55, of ADC is 72, and... Thankfully, the diagram shows all the information that is given, okay? So you want to double check that right away. So part A asks us to find the length of AD. All right, first things first. With the information that we have, we want to see if we can get anything else out of it, right? And since we know that the area of a, I mean, sorry, the number of degrees in a triangle is 180, that means that 72 degrees plus 55 degrees plus the angle DCA, which is the one right here, has to equal 180 degrees. Okay, and doing a little bit of math, we end up with, we end up with the angle DCA being um, 53. Okay, so now that we have this angle right here, we want to look at the formula booklet where we have the sine rule, okay? Now, the thing about the sine rule is that it works in pairs, okay? You want to have little a, big A, little b, big B, or little c and big C, okay? Now, what is little and big? Like, what's up with that? Okay, and now I'm going to explain what's up with little a, big A, and little b, big B, or whatever, okay? Let's say we have this random triangle, okay? And we have the angle A, angle B, and angle C. And respectively, of course, point A, point B, point C. Okay? The angles are always going to be big. And the little, the little letters are the sides. So angle A portrays over there. So this side right here, BC, is going to be little a. Big B portrays over there, right? So that's little b. And C portrays over here, so that's little c. All right, that's a, just an explanation of what's up with the big and littles, okay? So for the sine rule, we're looking for pairs, okay? And in this triangle right, right here of C, D, and A, we have the pair of angle 72, so it's going to be sine 72, and on top, the side, which is going to be 70, okay? And we're going to equal this to sine 53, which is this angle right here, and onto the side it portrays, right? And the angle 72 portrays to 70. That's why we have the pair here. It's going to be AD, right? And AD is the, the length that we're trying to find, okay? So here we cross multiply. We have 70 times sine 53, and we have AD side AD times sine 72, okay? I divide both sides by sine 72. Cancels out on this side. And we end up with AD being equal to, we end up with AD being equal to 58.7814 meters, okay? Always remember the units, it's part of the answer. And if you want to estimate it, you would estimate it to 58.8 meters. But I suggest always writing out the whole number because that way you don't mess up with the significant figures and such. So this is part A. Okay, now part B asks us to find the size of angle ABC, okay? The reason I know it's an angle is because it has this little, like, symbol up here, okay? Like, across. So we're looking for this angle right here, okay? And I suggest that you always try to use sine rule because it's the most, I don't know, intuitive one because you just work with pairs. But in this scenario, we have no angle that can help us out here, right? We only have sides. But that's okay because in the formula booklet, we have the cosine rule. Okay, and for the cosine rule, the cool part is that you pretty much only work with sides. I mean, if you're looking for one angle and you have all the sides, you can use it. Okay, and so the 
tricky part for me is defining, okay, like which angle is A, which is B, which is C, because it's not going to always match the diagram, right? The only thing that matters is that our cosine A is going to be the angle we're trying to find, and that has to be the same. Okay, and the angle we're trying to find, its little version is going to be the minus distance that's up ahead, right? So in this scenario, it's going to be cosine of angle ABC, right, is going to equal, um, okay, this guy is portraying onto the 70, so the 50 and the 30 are going to be the positive values in the numerator, and the negative is going to be the one it portrays onto, which is the 70 squared, okay? I know this is kind of tricky, but you just have to get familiar with the cosine rule. So the big angle is, is going to mean that in the cosine rule, it's going to be the negative little version of it, okay? So the 70. And on the bottom, we fill in 2 times 50 times 30. Okay, so working this out a little, this whole chunk turns into negative one half. And since we want angle ABC alone, which is the same as calling this like our variable X, uh, we're going to do cosine inverse on both sides, okay? Should be on the calculator. And so with this cosine inverse, the cosine goes away. We end up with our angle along our variable along by itself. And we need to calculate cosine inverse of negative one half, okay? And this is going to be 120 degrees, okay? So that is part B. Part C tells us to calculate the area of the triangle plot of land ABC, which is the one on the right. And conveniently in the formula booklet, there's this equation right here for the area of a triangle, where AB are the adjacent sides to the angle that we have, okay? So in this case, the angle that we have is 120. And the adjacent sides would be 50 and 30, right? So we're going to have 1 half times 50 times 30 times sine 120. We put this whole chunk into the calculator, and the area of the triangle ABC is it's going to be 649.519, OK? Now, the answer is not done yet, OK? Units are always important. So meters squared. Okay, you can estimate it to 650 as well. Okay, and for part D, it says that Haraya attaches a 20 meter long rope to a vertical pole at point B. So right here, there's going to be a there's a rope, right? And so they tell us to determine whether the rope can extend into the triangular plot of land ACD. So this circle outlined by the blue. We have to figure out whether it, it goes into the triangle area or if it passes through the inside. Okay, that's what it's asking. So first things first, I'm going to redraw the triangle that we care about, which is the CAB one. Okay, I'm just putting in the data that we have. This is 50, this is 30. That's 70. Okay, they also, uh, we also figured out that this angle is 120. This circle basically has a radius of 20. Okay, so we have to figure out if it passes or not this height. Okay, and this height right here, the way we can get it is using the formula for the area of a triangle, right? The area of a triangle is going to be uh, base times height divided by 2, right? So since we got the area of the triangle ABC on a previous part, we can plug it in. So we're going to have 649.519 is equal to the base, which is 70, the height that we do not know, and we divide it by 2, right? So now we want to get H alone to figure out the value of H. We multiply both sides by, by 2 to get rid of this guy, cancels out. Uh, we're also going to divide by 70. It cancels out here as well. Divide by 70. 
Okay, and once that calculation is done, we have that the height is 18.5576 meters, okay? And so this value is less than 20 meters. Okay, and visually speaking, it would be something like this. Um, the height of the triangle is 18 meters. It's just about there, okay? These are roughly 18 meters. But the rope is longer than that. It's 20 meters. And the rope, because it's, it's greater than the height, is able to reach the area of the triangle ADC. So visually speaking, that's how it would be. It's important that in your answer you you put the evidence, right? I know it's kind of redundant, but you have to say that roughly 18.5526 meters is of course gonna be less than 20 meters. Okay? You can't just leave the answer like this. That's not good enough. You have to say that it is less than 20 meters. Therefore, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it never hurts to write a little explanation. So that's it, and I hope it helped.